Hello there, it's Pastor Craig again. We're on day 10. All I'm gonna say is app and website. If you've been following, you know what that means. If you don't know what that means, go listen to yesterday's and you can see what I'm talking about. So thanks for joining us uh, here on day 10. Uh, if you wanna grab your Bible, we're gonna go into 2 Timothy chapter two. And you're gonna read verses one through 10. Uh, this is kind of a, a unique time as we read this because um, there's this important reminder. Paul's talking to Timothy in the scripture here, and he's reminding him that you can't do this on your own. You have to have other people. So if the purpose of us as, as followers of Jesus is to share the gospel, preach the gospel to all creation, um, and the purpose is to make disciples of all the nations, uh, how far can I get by myself? Well, I think that's a pretty shallow pool to wade in if you think about my impact on an entire planet. So everything, reaching, preaching the gospel to all nations, um, to preach the gospel to all creation, uh, requires the byproduct of disciples who make disciples. It cannot be accomplished by one person. We have to make, uh, be a part of this actively uh, making disciples. And one of the challenges that, that I've really been impacted by in my journey is for quite a few years, you know, it was about my growth and about my coming to Jesus. And that's not a bad thing, right? I mean, I've got to learn who Jesus is. I've got to learn what he wants to do in my life, how he wants to shape and change me. But even in that early phase of being a follower, um, I was still equipped, believe it or not, to go and make disciples. I may not have as many biblical answers that a lot of people have, uh, and I'm not sure that I have all of those yet either, because honestly, there's stuff that I just don't know. I can only trust that God knows more than I do. But the fact is that if I believe who Jesus is, and I've trusted that he is who he said he is, he's done what he said he's done, then here I am. What more can I share with you today? So. As a new believer, perhaps, if you're watching this, or someone who's fairly new to following Jesus, you have enough information, believe it or not, to begin the process. And you may not have enough to give a lot of answers of things, but you can begin a journey with somebody to explore the answers they may have about God or about following Jesus of what it looks like. But as you read 2 Timothy, Paul's basically telling Timothy, look, it's great, you're following Jesus, you're learning about him, but who are you investing in that's gonna carry this torch not only with you, but beyond you and to others? Because the only way this is gonna uh, encompass the globe is if we are making disciples. So today, very simple, prayer focus. I'm gonna ask you to spend some time in prayer. I'm gonna remind you, please, as you go into your prayer time uh, to you know, give God glory, uh, to acknowledge who he is, to thank him, spend time thanking him for the good things in your life and the challenges in your life that he's allowed um, and how he walks you through that. But I have one focused prayer today. Pray that God would help you make disciples who make disciples. Pray that God would help you make disciples and that it wouldn't stop there. That as you're a disciple maker, every encounter, every conversation you have with somebody, you are challenging them to carry that beyond you as well. Um, I'm afraid oftentimes that we, we think disciple making is about um, reading a piece of scripture to somebody or having them say a prayer and then setting them free as if that was the end of the journey. But if you go back to day one, we're called to teach them, instruct them, help them obey, baptize them. There's more to this disciple making than just a, a discussion and set them free. So uh, I hope that uh, your prayer time, you would take this seriously to just say, God, help me. And beyond that, you're going to say, that's it. That's my prayer prompt. Yep, that's it. Pray that God would help you make a disciple or make disciples who in turn make disciples. Celebrate those who are discipling you celebrate those who you're discipling, pray for them, but ask that question. So have a great day. Talk to you next week or no, talk to you tomorrow.